our top story. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department remembering one of their own this morning. The agency devastated by the loss of Deputy Darnell Calhoun, who was killed in the line of duty yesterday. Calhoun was gunned down while responding to a domestic violence call at a home in Lake Elsinore. KTLA's Carlos Herrera is there live this morning with what we know so far, Carlos. Yeah, the more we learn about the fallen deputy Darnell Calhoun, this story becomes more tragic and more heartbreaking. We now know he was a loving son, a loving husband, and also was expecting his first child in just a few months. We're here at the Lake Elsinore station where he was assigned and uh, kept his career going just a few months ago. Take a look here. This is where a memorial continues to grow uh, right outside with people dropping off flowers and posters like this one here reading rest in peace. Deputy Calhoun, law enforcement agencies across the state and of course this community coming together paying their respects. Deputy Calhoun was shot and killed while working in a residential area of Lake Elsinore yesterday afternoon. The 30 year old began his law enforcement career in the city of San Diego. He moved to Riverside back in February. He wanted to be closer to home, be closer to family. Investigators say Deputy Calhoun was responding to a domestic violence and child custody call on the area of Hilldale Lane in the Lakeland Village neighborhood. He was the first person to arrive. A second deputy arrived to the scene just a few moments later. He found Deputy Calhoun wounded in the street. He was then taken to Inland Valley Medical Center, where unfortunately he died. He was the most cheerful, the most positive, the most good, wholesome man you can imagine. And now a father, a mother, a wife, and us are trying to figure out why. He has a fantastic family. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. In February, when he was sworn in, I I hugged his mother and I promised I would take care of him. Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco absolutely devastated there, heartbroken as well. The Riverside County Sheriff's uh, deputies led a massive procession yesterday. They escorted the fallen deputies' remains from the hospital to the coroner's office in Paris. They lined the streets in what was an absolutely beautiful tribute. That shooting, of course, rocking the Riverside County Sheriff's Department just two weeks after Deputy Isaiah Cordero was fatally shot during a traffic stop in Harupa Valley. That gunman died after a pursuit that culminated in a shootout with law enforcement. The 32-year-old deputy was laid to rest just last week. Uh, it was attended by uh, hundreds of officers from across the country. Sheriff Chad Bianco saying, again, he is heartbroken to share such tragic news yet again with the department. That suspect in last night's incident, or yesterday's incident rather, was shot by that second deputy that responded to the scene. He was last listed in critical condition, remains hospitalized this morning. No word yet on the funeral services for the fallen deputy. We'll send it back to you guys from Lake Elsinore.